Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, we went on a trip to Western Australia, and there were lots of different and unique species there. So today, we'll be showing you some of the species we found. First, we have one of Western Australia's more common bull ant species, the Mimesia vindex. These giant bull ants can be found throughout many of WA's bushlands. They construct large nests hidden in different spaces of grass, although they are still very hard to miss. Within these nests, there can be over 1,000 workers. These ants are huge, with workers being about 2.8 centimeters in length. This species is diurnal, meaning they do most of their foraging activities during the daylight hours, which kind of makes them the equivalent of Mimesia golosa or Sumelema here in New South Wales. Next up, we have a far less well-known ant, the Ratitopanera violacea. These large black ants are equipped with a large stinger and an aggressive attitude. In Western Australia, they viciously defend their nest from other righted species, biting and stinging them to death. This species of ant is unique, as instead of having an egg-laying queen, this species has an egg-laying worker. How this system works is that the workers in a colony will fight each other until there is one victor. That victor will have earned the right to mate, and will stand outside the nest and release pheromones trying to attract a male. This process happens every time a colony's gamogate dies or if a new colony is made. Here we have one of the smallest bull ant species, the Mimesia infra. These tiny ants are only around 6 millimeters in length, and are so small that they are incapable of stinging people. We weren't able to observe many things about this species, as we only found this one lone worker. Here we have the first queen of the video, and it is quite a rare one as well, as she is a species from the genus Chelina. We found two of these colourful queens, one in a spiderweb and the other one on the ground mating. This species is related to the infamous fire ants from the genus Solenopsis. Their workers share the same potent sting and major workers. Hopefully we will see this queen one day build a mighty colony. A sorority of Ritidipanera metallica. These brightly coloured ants are the dominant species in Western Australia, being even more numerous than Iridomermex. The reasoning for their success lies in their exoskeleton. These ants are armoured and can resist a far greater temperature than other ants. Another factor that leads to their success is an extreme version of a very normal behaviour, polygyny. Unlike most other species of Ritidipanera, the queens mate and then many of them don't start trying to found a new colony, but instead they walk back into the old colony. Finally, we have an Iridomermex species. We found these queens under lots of rocks while on ant hunts, although we realised that they were different to the normal Iridomermex of New South Wales, as they were thinner and smaller. We took the time to try and find as many interesting species as possible, although some didn't make it into the video. We once again apologise for the lack of videos lately. We have not had as much time to make the videos as we used to, although we should hopefully start a more consistent routine soon. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.